David, where are you filming? In the bathroom, because the lighting is not too bad. Hey! So, today I want to talk about something that I've never really talked on this channel before about, and that would be blood donation. As many people watching this may know, a lot of countries around the world have regulations around how and when and if men who have sex with men can donate blood. Some countries just don't allow it, whereas other countries have time limits around it. For example, a man who has had sex with another man, and you've done so since like 1975, you can't donate blood. Or maybe if you've had sex with another man in the past five years, you can't donate blood, or the last ten years. So a few days ago, in Canada, the government loosened the rules and said that men who have engaged in sex with other men within the last year, as opposed to within the last five years, which is what it was before, can donate blood, but you need to abstain from having sex for at least one year. I think that ultimately we have to talk about why this is a problem. Fundamentally, it's an issue because it treats an entire group of people as second class. It tells gay and bi men in particular that they cannot donate blood because they're engaging in sexual activity that could be risky or could be dangerous. But on some level, we're saying that it's risky and dangerous because it's sex with another person of the same sex. I, for one, understand that blood needs to be screened. I get that it's a, a difficult process and requires multiple levels of screening, but we have the technology available to do that and we do it. And that is understandable that you don't want somebody donating who is engaging in risky behaviors. That makes sense. And if there's a screening process for that, that makes a lot of sense. But fundamentally, when we tell gay and bi men, and any other man that has sex with men as well, that they can't donate blood to help other people because they're engaging in that particular sexual activity, we're saying that it's automatically risky, and we're telling an entire group of people that they can't do this civil duty because they're just having an active sex life. Yes, there are some gay and bi men who engage in risky behaviors, but there are also some heterosexual people that engage in risky behaviors that probably should not be donating blood either. So to have a policy that specifically says men who have sex with other men and have done so in the last year cannot donate blood under any circumstances, that's a problem. And I think this is a really interesting topic in light of what happened in Orlando recently. So after the Orlando shooting, if you're not aware of this, they lifted a gay blood ban in Florida, allowing people who have had sex with men and are men to donate blood. And that was to help the people in need and because there was a lot of need at that time. If I am someone who is willing to donate blood, and I am, however, because of my healthy and safe sexual activities, cannot do so and cannot help another person in need because of an outdated and arguably homophobic policy, what do we do? So when instances like Orlando happen, or just in everyday life when there are shortages of blood that's available, policies like this stop an entire segment of society from donating and helping and just being good people. So in my opinion, I look at what the government has done, going from a five-year ban on men who have sex with men to a one-year ban, and I kind of see it as a half-assed attempt at alleviating the policy. And this is a step in the right direction, but we're not quite there yet. That is it for me on gay blood donation. What are your thoughts? Comment below. Do you think that gay and bi men, or more broadly speaking, men who have sex with men, should be allowed to donate blood, or should there be restrictions on it? Uh, yeah. Please thumbs this up, share it around if you enjoyed, and that's pretty much it for me today. I hope you have a fantastic week, and a good end to your Pride Month. I will talk to you all next Friday, and until then, David out.